The constant exposure of her face with her hair up and the, for her, radical change with the fringe were starting to have their effect on her attitude to her hair. She even started looking at the hair magazines with me and noticed my preference for the shortest styles. One day she asked me what I thought she would look like with her hair in the shortish pixie that I had in front of me. I shocked her by saying that it would look okay, but that it would look even better shorter. It was not long after that that I managed to persuade her to allow me to cut it into what was a sort of mullet. This was a compromise, but I wanted to break the hold that the overall length still had on her. She gasped as I started by grabbing a lock from the front half of the top of her head and lopped it off at two inches from the scalp. I continued to cut these two's layers until I had moved right over the front half of the top of her head. There was quite a pile of over two foot long hair accumulating in her naked lap and sliding off to the floor. If she was shocked at the layering of her top hair, she had more to come. I slid the scissors into the right side of her hair, three quarters of the way up her ear and close to her scalp. The expression on her face as they scrunched right through it was something to behold. She had never heard the sound of scissors cutting hair so close to her ear before. I cropped the hair in front and over her ears very short to about three-eight of an inch, tapering it up the sides. I blended it into the layers at the top and thinned out and layered her fringe. Loads of two-foot lengths coming off and cascading down, great. I was very tempted to grab the back and lop it off as well, but fortunately, I managed to refrain. The result was a great improvement in her appearance as it really opened up her face and displayed her features. It definitely helped in reducing the horse look. Initially, she was very shocked at the result. You have to remember that she never saw these cuts until they were finished as she was sat in the middle of the room and only got to look in the mirror afterwards. She decided that it was too short, and it took several weeks and a number of compliments from others before she came to like it. Even then, she would not let me take the front that short again. This cut went on with slightly longer variations for around a year. I began to wonder if I had blown my opportunity, with her hair gradually growing out to a tatty style half over her ears at the front, as was the fashion then, unfortunately. It was in the October of that year that I set her down to perform yet another boring trim. We had washed her hair as usual, and she was now sitting with the lovely, smooth effect of her combed-out damp hair. I picked up the scissors and was about to start when she stopped me. What now, I thought. She turned to me and out of the blue said, I know you've always fancied cutting my hair short and now's your chance you can cut it how you like. At last, the opportunity I had been waiting for all this time. I thrust the scissors into a large lock at the top of the back of her head and chopped it off at one inch from her scalp before she could change her mind. I dropped the resulting severed 26-inch length in her lap and she gasped at the sight of it. She grasped hold of it and started to rub it over her nipples. More long blonde locks joined the others in her lap in short order, and as each was dropped, she would grab it and add it to the fist-sized ponytail she had in her hand. Order restored, I continued with the haircut. The back and sides were cropped to 3-8, with it shorn right to her hairline and clean over her ears with very little sideburn. The top was cropped to around an inch all over with a slight increase in length at the fringe, which I layered and thinned into a nice 11-2 creation. For her job as a teacher, it was bordering on unacceptably short at the time and was significantly shorter than most of the fashionable styles of the time. I covered her eyes as I led her to the mirror. When she was standing square in front of it, I removed my hand. Her mouth fell open and she gasped, and there was a silence which must have lasted all of 10 seconds and seemed like a lifetime. She stood with a blank expression on her face and surveyed her very radical makeover. Oh, oh, I thought, that's blown it. Then her face split with a huge grin. I love it, she beamed. She turned and gave me a huge kiss. I took her by the hand and lead her back to the sea of hair we had left on the floor. As we walked, she rubbed her head continuously with her other hand, a blissful expression on her face. I lowered her into the pile of discarded locks, and we made passionate love. It was then that Catherine became Kathy. Catherine sounds too stodgy for my new style, 
she said. I didn't disagree. Over the next few weeks, she received a large number of compliments, several of which she really appreciated as they came from unexpected sources and after some consideration. There were a few odd, disparaging comments, mainly from blinkered, long-hair-loving males. Overall, she was more than pleased with the cut and was quite ready for me to trim it up after only three weeks. One thing of note was that, with her hair cut short and not exposed to the sun for long before it got cut off, she went a considerably darker shade of blonde and had to resort to the bottle to keep it how she preferred it. The real sense of victory came a few weeks later when we were walking along the road and were passed by a girl with beautiful, long, straight blonde hair. After she had passed, Kathy looked at me and said, Great hair, but it would have suited her better short. I could not have agreed more and snuggled up against her. Kathy kept her hair short with slight variations on the original cut over the next six months. At the end of this time, we drifted apart and she moved away. We kept in touch Christmas and postcards from holiday, etc., but didn't see each other for about seven years until I met her next, with her current boyfriend in a pub. She had grown her hair out to shoulder length. He liked long hair and had a ghastly perm in it. I made no comment about her hair. When we met up again some three or four weeks later, she had just had the perm cut out and had a new, neat, straight, short hairstyle, although not as short as it used to be. It would appear that she still took note of what I thought of her hair and read the lack of comment at our previous meeting correctly. Over the three or four years since, she has kept it fairly short recently with the current ghastly tatty look with the overgrown nape and sides that is presently in vogue. And so it remained until about three weeks before the summer holidays were due to start. We were chatting on the phone, and I asked how she currently had her hair. She replied with an over-positive view of the recent cut described above. I think you should cut it really short, I said. But I had that when I was with you, she replied. I was thinking of something shorter than that, maybe something with the clippers. I think you might enjoy that. The clippers, she gasped. Don't they remove it all? I could never do that with school. Well, they can, but with guards on them, mine can cut anything up to an inch, which is little different to what you had before. Besides, you could actually shave your head at the start of the six-week summer holiday, and it could grow back to around three quarters by the time you had to go back. I had purchased a set of clippers some time after she left and had yet to give them a real workout on a woman. Two days later, she arrived on the doorstep in her tracksuit, fresh from after-school clubs. Her hair was still damp from the shower after the session and was looking particularly tatty and in need of attention. I want you to give me that clipper cut, she said. Not too short, as I still have two weeks to go to the holidays. Come on in and I'll just go and get my clippers, I said with glee. When I returned, she had set up the chair in front of the TV and was sitting there and looking very aroused. Won't your boyfriend disapprove of this? I said, thinking as much of the approaching haircut as the fact. I split up with him two weeks ago, came the reply. So how are you going to do it? I must remain presentable for work. I was thinking of around three, four over the top and tapered in fairly tight on the back and sides, a number six on top and numbers three and four for the rest. Okay then, she said. Let's do it, 